Hello there and welcome to Roll on the Adventure, the podcast where we create, play and destroy um, a bunch of games that we create. I should probably say like tabletop role-playing games and things, shouldn't I? Do you want to repeat that? <laughs> I was hoping someone would actually weigh in and then we'd have a little bit, but uh, instead you just left <laughs> me to die. <laughs> to be fair, that, that is role-playing, let's be honest here. <laughs> I'll hold back the dragon, Kate, peace. Wait. You know I'm leaving this in now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. Anyway, cue the intro. Oh, oh, adventure. Oh, do, 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 adventure. Roll, do, do, do. roll on the adventure. Roll on the adventure. <sighs> One day. One I am day. totally going to make a canned intro for this bloody thing if it will kill me. Thank you. I will. The next time we're at a show together, I will buy you fast food and alcohol in thanks. Because <laughs> I am so done with this hmm. thing. You've been anyway. saying that for like two months, though, haven't you? So yeah, that's because I'm lazy. Good point. But... Kill everyone when she gets round to it. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, yeah. So uh, this is the gap between arc four and arc arc five, and so we're gonna have an intermission and Yay. the. Intermission for today is random game generator. So we've got a series of possibly utterly terrible tables, and we're going to see if we can generate game names from them. The more I'm looking at this table, the more I'm thinking this is never going to work. Yeah, we're going to regret this. So I have a question. So if last intermission was the Hot Springs episode, is this like the clip show episode? I think this is the clip show episode. Oh, yeah. no. Yeah, no one likes show. the clip show episode. Uh, you so, yeah. say that. People like the Rick and Morty ones. No, 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 no one who who expresses an opinion in any direction about Rick or Morty can be trusted. <laughs> <laughs> is that just fandom is terrible? Or... Yes, fandom ruins everything. Well, I mean, that's not new. <laughs> right then. Um, so, who wants the honours and roll the first game? I'll do it. Darn it. Cool. Right, so the format is six. Job, job. the objective. Oh, no. Yep. Okay. Job is wizards. Wizard. The hidden. Wizard, Ooh. the hidden. Okay, so... Are we going to go for something that's sort of like modern fantasy sort of stuff here? Mm. Uh, you could do like secret societies and that sort of thing. I've got an idea. All right. So maybe it's a sword and sorcery world and like all the uh, big burly barbarians have gone around killing all the wizards. And so okay. they've been driven underground and they're just hiding. Oh, This is a secret, secret society of nerds against... The overculture of mighty feud barbarians. <laughs> that could work. That could work. <laughs> oh wow! So wizard the hidden. So we're finding this secret society. Um, you have to pretend to be a big burly barbarian. That's what I'm thinking. But you're actually secret, a wizard. Secret stash of grimoires back home. <laughs> no, it's a, it's a, it's porn. <laughs> <laughs> This isn't a potion, it's protein juice. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, he's no barbarian, he's three wizards in a bear skin. <laughs> that, that was better than what I was going to say with the potion. <laughs> Is this a potion? No, it's lube. That's yeah. purples? Uh, yes! It's oil for my muscles. <laughs> As a guy who's getting, as a guy's about to get hurled into a volcano. No, if you think about it, if you think about it, the brain is kind of a muscle, and I'm just training it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that that would be me if I tried to do in society. <laughs> yeah. Does that mean you're the GM then, Amy? In our uh, in our vignette. It seems I am. Okay. Um, oh man, I should have got some dice out for this. <laughs> How are we even going to do this? I have a dice. Right. Literally, no, 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 no. singular d6. Well, we'll, we'll just wing it. Oh right then. Um, so what situation are we in, Amy? What uh, what stage of the whole um, secret wizard cult are we in? Uh, we're obviously the wizards, right? Yeah. I'm, yeah, I'm going to suppose you're the wizards, because usually the character title is also the player thing. 
That'd be a bit of a thing if it wasn't, wouldn't it? <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm gonna say let's let's start off with any classic, and you guys are in a, a tavern, or well, oh, no. the basement of a tavern anyway. You're kind of hiding from a bunch of um, I keep wanting to call them jocks, but no, they're not. Uh, <laughs> barbarians completely different <laughs> yeah <laughs> completely um you're hiding from a bunch of um barbarians who have been sort of tracking you down for a while and you ran basically into the first sort of hideout building you guys know about which is the local tavern the stars and stripes um because <laughs> i can't think of names and oh. you've just decided to run down into the basement and you're currently hiding there trying to figure out how to get rid of the barbarians who are chasing you. Oh, quick, quick, quick. I need to get rid of some of this beard. <laughs> well, I've got the problem that if we go upstairs, the smoke will trigger my asthma and they'll know. <laughs> they'll know, guys. They'll know. <laughs> Look, um, well, we're just going to have to hide down here, right? Until they leave. Um, okay. As as you sort of suggest this, um, I'm just rolling a dice off to the side here. Okay. Um, you can hear them sort of clambering around upstairs. Barbarians are not very well known for their um, grace in any matter. Um, but you can hear them shouting very angrily at the barman who saw you run down into the basement. Um, and you can you can sort of uh, hear their feet sort of uh, bashing closer to the door, the sort of trap door that leads down into the... Um, I've got an thing. idea. Mm -hmm. There's that big barrel over there, right? Mm -hmm. Why don't we get in the barrel? We can just press to digitate the top off and then press to digitate it back on and they won't be able to tell it's been tampered with. Better idea. Why don't we make ourselves look like a barrel with literal magic? We could yeah. use literal magic. <laughs> um, That's kind of why we're in this thing. <laughs> they won't attack us if they think we're one of them. I'll get that tarpaulin, and then we can wrap it around ourselves, and we can enchant it, right? Yeah, that'll do. That'll do. Cool. Okay. So that's what we're going to do, Amy. We're going to yeah. use our magical illusion powers. To try and make yourselves look like a barrel or three separate barrels? A barrel. One big barrel. A barrel. <laughs> we're just gonna... okay. I mean, one we're big not... comedy ale barrel. Yeah. I, I, hope, I hope you know I'm rolling like a d10 for this. To see yeah, it's what's fine. Going on. Yeah. Well, okay. Uh, you're lucky. I rolled a nine. Um, <laughs> so yeah, this you uh you hear just like an almighty splintering as the the trap door isn't even opened. It is literally torn off its hinges and thrown off to somewhere outside the scene. And um, you guys, because you know you probably can still see. Wait, um, do I have to make a roll to not snark? To not what? Snark. To make a snark save. Oh god. Uh, yeah, let's get, let's do that. You're going to have a snark save. Because um, these guys look like idiots. Oh no, I, I failed my snark save. I, <coughs> so, to, uh, to, to Chris, I just going to whisper really quietly, they must go through so many doors that way. <laughs> Yeah, luckily they're really, they're still really dumb and they don't hear you. Um, so you see three of them like clamber down. You see these two big burly men, like proper uh, Conan Barbarian style things. And then behind them, you see this even bigger buffer person who turns out to be a chick. And somehow she looks even more intimidating than the two dudes in front of her. Um, yeah. Though this might be because, well, she looks like she could literally crush all your heads between her thighs very, very easily. Yes, mommy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, mummy. Cool. Yeah. One sec, I got to. I'm gonna roll to resist that. Yeah. Bro. Oh no, I rolled a one. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, <No. laughs> so um, they walk down and they literally hear someone say, "Yes, mummy." And they can't. They, they can't exactly tell. Where it's coming from? You're lucky. I rolled a ten, so they can't hear. They didn't don't, don't know exactly where that's coming from, and all they can see is a room full of various kinds of barrels and casks. Like most of them are aligned um to the the wall, basically. They're not standing up like you guys are. Uh -oh. So as far as they know, there's a bunch of barrels in there, and there's just one huge ass barrel in the middle of the room. Just they just don't <laughs> look at it. They look everywhere but that single barrel. 
and they're just like one of them figures out that they must be you know they must be hiding somewhere boss and so the three of them start to slowly destroy barrels going from one <laughs> side of the room to the other right so my specialty is summoning right uh-uh. well yours is illusion isn't it yeah 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 uh, mine's summoning um so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna sneakily summon a cat in the corner of the room so they think it might be the cat that made the noise that, that said yes <laughs> okay roll. I mean, yeah <laughs> oh my god okay roll um that's a seven is that enough uh i'm going to say yeah yeah it is enough they're really dumb um they rolled a two um yeah, so you you summon a black cat uh, with green eyes. Oh shit! The room. An obvious wizardy cat. Yeah, oh. like a, a very obviously like witch's cat almost. Um, and it meows and it makes a sound very close, like yes, mummy. <laughs> <laughs> and the Just barbarians so... instantly look at the cat and are like, "It's Dora!" And they start running after the cat, and the cat immediately goes. Yeah! and just runs out of the basement um and basically like the two uh dudes go after the cat the figure woman sort of lumbers behind them you're you're not sure at all how she got down here she's much bigger than the entryway that's probably why they tore it open chris Um, what's your specialty as they're lumbering away i'm going to try and get a bit of payback in and use my conjuration magic to Summon up some grease on the floor to hopefully make them trip over. Oh no! But they'll still be back down here. Roll, roll for it. Yes, but they'll they'll be unconscious and then we can escape. Oh, I hope this works. <laughs> roll for it. Uh, four on a d6. What did you roll? A glass? <laughs> <laughs> no, it just chink. It just chinked against one. <laughs> We're very professional here, folks. Um, okay, so you use the grease spell on the staircase as uh, the, I guess I'm going to call her the matriarch, as the matriarch walks up the stairs. And uh, she does indeed slip on the grease and falls down like five, five or so steps and slams heavily into the stone wall. Um so and she looks stunned for a little bit. She doesn't look dead or like actually damaged, but she looks stunned enough that if you wanted to move, you could. But you'd have to be quick. I am going to have to roll to resist Snark. Okay, roll, roll uh, to resist Snark again. Hey, I got a six. Cool. Yeah, so I managed fine. to... Yep. I'm just going to book it. Which I believe <laughs> yeah. because I'm the one casting the spell, that means the barrel moves with me. Yeah, so literally... <laughs> like, <laughs> The Crap. massive barrel suddenly spouts legs and starts like <laughs> running up the stairs. A bit like the luggage. <laughs> Meanwhile, two other nerds, one with a very long beard and one without one, um, like are just standing in place trying to look as barrel like as possible. Um, like with my arms out like this, like in a circle. <laughs> like you're hunched over in a circle and you two look absolutely ridiculous. And uh, I try to catch up the barrel so we all exit together. <laughs> Yeah, yeah freeze you... frame and then oh god, book it as well. Yeah. <laughs> so you three all start running after your barrel friend. Barrel um, friend. Because <laughs> none of you have names. So barrel, um... barrel friend, best friend. <laughs> <laughs> and you you start running, and by the time the last one of you is up to the top of the staircase, you see the cat is continuing to like run out. Uh the two burly dudes are running after the cat uh everyone's just sort of staring at them looking a bit confused they have no idea why this is happening um but um, as the last uh, one comes... uh, cooper's coming through we're after that barrel oh god <laughs> the barrel's running away we need to get it back yeah we're not oh, wizards we're didn't. coopers question is this is this a pvp game uh <laughs> sure pvp's a thing Cool. Oh, I'm going to yell as the barrel, only a wizard would know what a Cooper is, and run faster. What? <laughs> oh my God. Okay. So, um, as, as you do this, the matriarch wakes up and hears, like, only a wizard would know that. Um, and she wakes up and does this, like, gigantic dragon's roar 
and she starts um, running up the stairs after the last one of you, which I'm going to say is purple. Yeah, not going to lie, this is a case of I don't have to outrun the bear, I only have to outrun <laughs> purple. <not> <laughs> yeah, so like everyone else is looking at a barrel with legs and now a mouth. Um, yep. starts running out of the bar. The bartender looks incredibly confused. He's just like, did someone steal my rum? <laughs> he looks at the two other people who have just been accused to be wizards who are, who are like the most uh, they're the most hated thing within this entire society and now suddenly yeah. everyone's starting to draw their swords and everything what are you going to do? I'm, a, I'm gonna um, look uh, towards uh, the barbarian matriarch oh it's a sight for sore eyes to see you here a cursed wizard has enchanted my best bat and biggest barrel. Without it, my coopering business is sunk. Um, uh, I'm just glad you're here to deliver me, a common person, from the scourge of these horrible mages. Okay, so you're, you're going to try and lie, basically. And then because this appears to be a PvP game, I'm going to point at Chris and be like, And it was him! Oh no, <laughs> poor Chris! <laughs> okay, roll. I'm gonna roll to see if she believes you. Uh, yeah, she believes you. <laughs> so she instantly, her eyes like look away from you and look at Chris, and so does everyone else okay. in the room who's just drawn their swords. Okay, my response is going to be, no, clearly this is the foul wizard for which you seek. Look, he's casting magic right now. And as they turn to look at him, quickly cast a spell to make him glow or something. Oh, she definitely believes you. Uh, so now she's sort of confused. She's doing like, I don't compute as she looks between one and the other and the other and the other. I'm going to fall to the floor <laughs> screaming, pretending that this burns. Okay. Uh, people believe I'm just that. running. Yeah, you're, you're, you're just running. Um, and you, you managed to get out the door uh, with the amount of sheer distraction that's going on. Cool. My plan is very simple, by the way. I'm going to okay. run to a place where, like, a bin would normally be, and then I'm going to yeah. crouch down and turn my barrel <laughs> into a bin. <laughs> and you're just going to continue to hide. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Become you a bin. Can, you continue. Uh, you manage to get out the door, and you look around to try and find the, the I guess, local trash heap, because bins mm. don't exist in sword and sorcery, I guess. Oh, shit. Um, <laughs> I mean, the they could. Right. I, I mean, they could, but it's not like. But the sort like, of person that would invent a bin would be a wizard. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> oh no! Hoist on my own petard. But the first thing you see as you run out is a bunch. The same two big burly guys who were chasing you before. It seems that with the entire distraction going on before, um, the cat has disappeared, and now they don't know what to run after. They see you, a barrel with feet and a mouth, and they instantly, they don't necessarily think you're a wizard just yet because they're really dumb. However, they want to beat you up. So they start running towards you, both of them, and they're trying to like kick you over so they can roll you down the street. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> what are you going to do? Uh, I'm going to panic. Um... <laughs> Okay, okay, right, I've got this. I am literally a wizard. Yes, you're literally a wizard. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cast an illusion spell on myself so that okay. when they knock over the barrel, yep. um, it will split open and I'm going to make myself look like the buffest, scariest, macho man Randy Savagist barbarian I can think of. Oh my god, okay, so you're going to try and intimidate them, basically. Yeah, by being bigger, because oh, um, the only thing barbarians are scared of is a bigger barbarian. Please, okay. dice, please. Roll. Oh no! What did you roll? A one. Okay, the, you, um, they go over to you and, you know, they breathe on you and you fall over, expecting yourself to smash open and essentially look like the biggest bad as like Arnold Schwarzenegger ever. Um, and I'm you, a barbarian. <laughs> yeah. You pop out of there and you look even thinner and smaller and weedier than you actually are. 
you made yourself look even less intimidating than you thought you would. And What's there's your literally... readiness score to start with? <laughs> it's like some number. But um, to make it all the worse, your illusion magic kind of glitched. And in, in, as well as making you just look weedy as all hell, there is now literally a massive neon sign over your head pointing down at you saying wizard. Great. And on the back of it, it says kick me. Well, even better. <laughs> yeah. I'm just going to run. <laughs> you're, you're, you're just going to run and yep. they, they, they start to run after you. Um, meanwhile, inside the place, um, yeah, shit is going down as uh, you, you guys, uh, Purple and Chris, are both just having a massive issue. Uh, what are you going to do? Are you still going to fight each other or are you tr- going to try and work together? I'm pretending well, so- I'm on fire. Yeah. <laughs> I'm pointing him going, see how he rises in the fire but does not die. Clearly he's a wizard and should be brutally murdered. I'm slowly edging towards the door. You set me on fire! <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, they do believe you are kind of on fire. Um... They're a bit confused and like none of them want to touch you. Um, but they do not believe that uh, Chris was the one that set you on fire. They believe it was a distraction oh. technique. And while they're not going anywhere near you currently, they're just waiting for you to stop being on fire. <laughs> Curse those tricksy wizards setting themselves on fire. Yes. <laughs> you, you're able to sort of mince your way towards the door, quick, Chris, as. Um, you sort of push your way out. Um, and Purple, that sort of leaves you on your own in the middle <laughs> of this crowd with the matriarch looming over you, getting ready to just wreck your day. I'm going to shout, horse trough, horse trough, look at the window and die through it. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I'm not going to make you roll for that. Um, you, yeah, you jump through the window. You're, you are now covered in splinters. Take like two damage. Um, oh you, man, that's like almost all my damage. You, you like <laughs> land in the horse trough. Um, and the fire that was around you instantly stops. Um, because magic does not deal well with water. Um, yeah, and now you are soaked, and you can hear people saying. Wait, he's not on fire anymore. Catch him! And uh, you hear a bunch of people with swords and things starting to run from the door. And you hear the matriarch roaring, starting to run towards the same window that you just jumped out of. Right. Um, So, you know, they've got the barrels of hay outside, right? Yeah. So I'm going to grab the lid off one of the barrels of hay, chase after Chris with the barrel lid. Okay. And uh, I'm going to... As, as I, if I can't manage to catch up, I'll be like, quick, quick, grease! And we're going to slide away to freedom. Oh my god. <laughs> Chris, Sounds like you a plan. Good idea. Okay, I'm not going to make you roll for this to get up to him because you've got a bit of a head yeah. start. So, ah. so, like, half the town now is running after you and, um, indeed, uh, Moly, this is what you see as well as uh, you see your two <laughs> friends, I guess. <laughs> Um, start run out of, like one jumps out a window, one runs out the door. Both of them are running in your vague direction as you're about to be advanced on by the two other thugs. Um, and one of and you see that uh, purple is holding a lid, and he's talking to Chris basically. And you, all you can hear is "Grease it, motherfucker!" <laughs> <laughs> and um, yeah, do you decide to grease it, Chris? <laughs> yes. Okay, um, Moly, what are you going to do as you see um, this greased lid go onto the ground and presumably these two guys go on top of it and start sledding down the, the village? Um, hmm. That is a tricky one. I think I'm just going to own it. Right, I'm going to use my illusion magic to play, you know, oldie timey chase music. Like, bang, dang, 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 And then I'm going to try and jump on the lid as they go. Okay, roll to jump on lid, I guess. Oh, no. Yay, I got a five. Yeah, you jump on the lid and you do like a almost sick landing. It looks cool to you. It doesn't look cool to anyone else. To anyone else, it looks like you just barely got onto it. It doesn't look good to me because you almost teabagged me. 
there's like a slow motion tea bagging. Yeah. <laughs> 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 anyway, blah, blah, blah. You three get onto the thing and <laughs> instantly time goes back to normal. Um, as you three start sliding down the village, you're like sliding past horses, you're sliding past houses where more people look out and see like three obvious wizards sliding down the village and they, they instantly start running out of their houses with like pitchforks and fire and water and all that sort of shit. Um, yeah, now you've got basically half the town chasing after you. Where are you going to go? Um, well, I think we've, we, we've successfully run out of town, haven't we? So we failed our objective. <laughs> I think so. I think what happens is, uh, I'm going to say this has a happy ending, you slide out the village and you end up sliding into a, uh, let's just say like a ditch somewhere. <laughs> um, that's the happy ending. That's, that's the happy You don't die, you just, you're just a, a bit injured and everyone sort of runs past you uh, as they think you've you know, slid off somewhere else and disappeared. So you survive, luckily. <sighs> and we never did get that magic book. No, but there we go. That's the, I guess the first, the first thing. Yep. From God. That was Wizard the Hidden, <laughs> which did not go well, or was not, and was not hidden. We escaped on a looped up bin lid. What more do you want? <laughs> <laughs> a barrel. Okay, uh, so uh... I'm going to take the next uh, rolling d6s. Cool. Uh, and then someone else can DM. Okay. I got four. Um, punk noun. Punk noun. Punk yeah. noun. Punk noun. Uh, should be being on its own. Um, we have stone. Stone. And nouns. Nouns, nouns, nouns. Directly below. We have stone tank. Yeah, stone tank, stone tank. Oh, this is wow. this is easy. No, this is this is easy. This I'm gonna I'm gonna GM this one. All right, this is easy. Right, so, um, humanity invents like mech suits and all of that lot, and nanotechnology, and then it oh. blows itself back to the Stone Age. So yeah. you are you are cavemen uh, pilots of mech suits and combat vehicles. Unfortunately, language has regressed to the point of. <laughs> Okay. So, so you have to attempt to coordinate yourselves as like a Super Sentai team without the gift of language. Oh, oh man. No. And the best part oh, is because wow. this is a podcast, we can't <laughs> see each other. <laughs> um, okay, so really playing to the format. <laughs> oh, too right. What's our scenario? Where are we? Um you have been basically those assholes from Cave Seventy Six um, have been. Uh, <laughs> if you get that reference, I'm impressed. Yeah, um, yeah uh, have been. Uh, they've been attacking your bison. So <laughs> they're hyper bison, though they're giant hyper bison. Yeah. So you you have gotten in the, <laughs> which is of course yeah. your your shining mech suit, and um, have gone off to face them. Yeah. Okay. Um, so, um, uh, what parts of the, uh, well, do we, do we have roles on the crew? We do, don't we? If for this game. Yeah. So, okay. What, so the three of you, what is your position within the crew? Who wants to be captain? I'll take the head. Okay. Um, do you want to be a uh, body or weapons, Chris? Uh, weapons. Okay. Right then. So in this one, we is it that we uh, put down our moves blind and assign dice to them? Yeah, basically. And then we reveal. Yep. So yeah. you have to keep adapting what you're doing. Okay. So um, uh, where are we? Are we? Are we just you're, moving you're out? on your wide open plane, and you can yeah. see Cave Seventy Six's mech suit over there. The great. <laughs> ah, the. <laughs> yeah. Oh no, he's armed with that hooger. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, we can hit him with the ahuga. <laughs> yeah, but, but their ahuga oh, yeah. is bigger than our ahuga. <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> oh, God, why? 
Uh, well, that's not in character uh, <laughs> talk. So uh... no, that's the mech suit. That's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. Um, I'm so stupid. Why did I do this? <laughs> Why did you do this? I okay. don't know. Look for um, a moment. <laughs> I'm gonna to hammer to three times on the uh, on the decking, and I'm gonna be a hug, a hug. Okay. Um... I guess I nod and go, Awugadada. 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 <laughs> and I'm like pointing at the mech and pointing at like a weapon we have. Awugadada cha. Okay. Um, Hit the big red button to activate a weapon. Right then. So, um, yeah, I've written down what I'm going for. My maneuver. Chris, have you written down your maneuver? Uh, yes. Yeah, I've run down mine too. Cool. Right, um, my manoeuvre was full speed ahead, and I, uh, I'm being conservative, and I put my D6 into it. Okay. Chris, uh, what's yeah. your manoeuvre? Yeah, my manoeuvre is fire missiles. Okay. <laughs> okay. Oh, crap, we're going to be really close. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And, okay. Uh, I, I, I I mean, my idea was also full steam ahead. <laughs> <laughs> so what so, dice did I go no, for? No, no, so, okay, so you're rolling just um, Amy, purple, roll, and then tell yeah. me what you rolled. Okay, got four. I got five. You got five. Oh, so we're pretty close. That's good. Okay, yeah, that's good. Uh, now, Chris, five for roll, roll your dice. What did uh, you get? Five. On five. a D6. <laughs> On a D6. Oh, okay. <laughs> so yeah, you, you engage all of the boosters. Um, <laughs> and as you hit the height of your speed, Chris, you expertly <laughs> fire all of the missiles. Whereas if you'd have fired them first, you'd have just ridden straight into your own missiles. Missile punch. <laughs> <laughs> Self-missile punch. And the opponent, oh, they managed to get their shield up in time. Oh so no! Detonations all around you, but you've now managed to get yourself in the smoke into close combat with them. What's the plan? Um, I, I'm gonna sort of squat down. Oh, 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 oh. Um, I sort of point uh by the other mech speed and said, "Ba ba ba sha." <laughs> I have no idea. What that was. <laughs> okay, everyone, note down your. Okay, yeah. Okay, I've noted mine. This is the dumbest thing I've ever done. Chris? Yeah. You noted yours? Mm -hmm. Okay. So, Chris, what did you choose? Um, form blazing sword and stab it. Okay. Um, <laughs> oh, no. Purple? I took jump D8. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and what did Amy? you take, Amy? My plan was go for the feet, eight. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, ev everyone roll. Seven. I rolled a four. <laughs> oh, I've got seven, which means I'm way out. <laughs> and Chris? I rolled a six. <laughs> okay. So you immediately... <laughs> <laughs> Leap into the air, form your blazing sword, and then angle yourself directly downwards at their feet. <laughs> and mm. oh no, they unfortunately saw that that was happening and they just stepped backwards. How did you see that coming? We didn't <laughs> see that coming. <laughs> I think I think I may call scene here. This is definitely one though that we need to play live so we can do the gestures. I yeah. mean, considering I've played a game where we were all one Super Sentai thing, and that was difficult enough of all of us being able to talk. Mm -hmm. I can't imagine this would work. Oh no, it's not meant to work. It's just meant to be stupid. Oh my gosh! Anyway, Give the audience something fun to watch. Exactly. Fair enough. <laughs> Right, who wants to roll for the next dumb thing? I think it's thing? Moly next, isn't it? I rolled for the first one. Yep, so uh, Purple, you roll for this one. Uh, no, then I have to go get my dice. <laughs> okay, do you want me to roll for... God damn it, Purple. Yeah, roll for me. Okay, so, format. 
is um oh we've already had that one yeah roll again is the noun of the group okay, okay so what's the noun the noun is the plotting the plotting of i'm sure that's not a noun <laughs> <laughs> I don't know who you I blame that. I personally blame Chris because uh, he had to look up what a noun was. <laughs> it's fine. It's just the plot of the The internet no, no. disagrees. The it is the plot of the conclave. The plot oh, of the conclave. Works. White Wolf mm. are gonna be after your ass now. Uh they've got actually they don't exist anymore. They got in so much trouble. That's true. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So uh yes, they're the plot of the conclave. Um, so the question is, are, are we doing this where where the conclave? Are we doing this where we're like, you know, trying to resist the conclave? What about I, you be the GM and tell us which one? I I quite like the idea of it being like, the the conclave hath plotted, and it's so that you're it's to stop them. No, 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 no. Like the conclave is so powerful that its plots happen. So it's kind of like we're. We're just having to kind of roll with it and make the best of it. Oh, um, right. So it's like it's like riding the winds of change. Yeah. So basically, like the conclave is so powerful, we can't stop it. Yeah. You know, it's like it's like trying to fight a um, it's like trying to fight a hurricane with a toothpick. Yeah. I kind okay. of like the I kind of like the idea that this game is almost like flux, uh, where the main thing is that the rules are always in flux. The rules always change. So you yeah. just have to literally deal with things as they change on a dime. Yeah, so, um, right. The the Conclave have decided that um, the uh, desert in which you make your home, you know, herding camels and stuff like that, is about to become an Arctic mountain range. Okay. And, um, yeah, they've got the mover elementals in. Because they said that moving things was an element. Um, and no one does <laughs> like disagree. how plotting is a noun, <laughs> yes, a lot like how plotting is a noun. <laughs> okay, so what are we trying to do? Are we trying to like stop them? I guess survive. Okay, so we're in an Arctic wasteland. Well, not yet. It's you're in a desert still, but it's getting colder, <laughs> and like great. there's um, you know, huge frost dragons flying overhead, dropping snow. And um, there's there's like these huge earth elementals shape like just picking up dunes for it, like and like compacting them into small rocks and stacking them up to make mountains. Hmm. Okay, uh, my first plan is to dig a hole in the ground and just sit there. <laughs> okay, <laughs> this is so far above my pay grade, I can't even see the sky. So yeah, um, the main threat to your camels, however, is the polar bears. Oh no, not polar bears. Yeah. <laughs> Do we have any weapons? Or I mean, yeah. Your 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 desert nomads. You're you're perfectly equipped for okay, life well, hunting bears... lions and things. Well, ho well, polar bears are solitary animals. So let's go kill a polar bear, and I start like charging towards it on my camel. With a spear okay. just above my head. I have no uh, idea how okay. I'm going to do this. <laughs> right. Um, do you want to do you want to uh, roll or do you want to invoke chaos? Let's invoke chaos. Okay. It's oh, no. <laughs> a good start. So you are charging towards this uh, polar bear, um, and uh, you, you invoke chaos, and I have pulled uh, from the one suit. So I think this is going to be a um, yeah. So what happens is these um, you're you're charging towards this polar bear. It's like reared up. It's charging towards you, and um, it it it's uh, hurtling towards you at a rate. And well, your your camel's not doing quite so well in the snow. Oh great! I mean they're good with the cold, but not actually with with like traveling on snow. It's feet. Are no, they won't sink, will they? Because they're quite good on No, they on won't, sand. because they can yeah. go on sand. They've just not got a lot of grip. Okay. Um, <laughs> so that means you can drift your camel. Camel drifting. <laughs> Multi-track camel drift. <laughs> God, why? Uh, but yes, because of the uh, invoking chaos uh, at that exact moment, 
um, a large fir tree hurtles skywards, um, and the polar bear runs straight into it. Hey! And there are trees popping up all around you. What are you doing? Everybody oh. else? Wait, are they popping up really, really fast? Oh yeah, like like enough to launch some like an unwary person high into the air. Delightful. Right. This is something I've always wanted to do. So yeah. I am gonna run over to one which is starting to sprout. Yeah. And I am planning on uh firing myself onto the back of one of the frost worms. Okay. Okay. Invoke chaos. Uh I think now, my you guy... don't have to invoke chaos for that. I think that's just a roll, isn't it? Okay. Because we already established they were both there. Yeah. Okay, so... Oh. What did you roll? I'll give you three guesses. You have really one. shit luck. <laughs> Rolled one. Okay, so you launch into the air <laughs> through the frigid <laughs> skies, through the swirling blizzards. I'm just going, um, the, the, the frost will just going, God. Oh, <laughs> that's exactly what's happened. Shit. You, oh, well, you have been fire. eaten by the frost worm. First one to die. <laughs> oh god! I guess my uh, I'm trying to avoid the trees and just sort of like literally drift around all the trees as they come up, like slalom. So you're you, as the mountain sort of stacks up behind you, it's like creating a, an incline. You're skidding down the uh, forming slopes on your camel. Trying to avoid the trees. Yeah, like the old NES game. I just really hope there isn't a Yeti. I well, there is now. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, Chris, uh, who are you and what are you up to? Oh, God. As all of this chaos is erupting around me, or whatever the hell is going on, with the some of the sacred texts of our old homeland yeah. attempting to... Proselytize to some of the mover spirits to sway them to the stop. Well, stop moving all the stuff they're moving. <laughs> Tend to okay. try and break or corrupt whatever ma- elemental bindings and making them do stuff. Okay. Um, yeah. Uh, that's so. That's going to be a, a, a secret um, card from for me because you're directly opposing the council, which means I draw from the deck. Yep. And now make your roll. I get a one. Well, um, <laughs> it it is from the looks of this. Uh, it's free. It's it's also you know really mad that any mortal had the temerity to bind it in the first place. Um, so it rips one of the huge boulders out of the ground, creating an earthquake. All the snow falls from the trees. Um, Amy? Yep. Yeah, you're in a snowdrift that just fell on you. Oh, great. Um, I'm going to try and like scrape out an igloo out of the thing that's come around me. Use it for like protection or something, I yeah? guess. Yeah, okay. Uh, what do you do with your camel? Uh, I kind of... I imagine it's like freezing and, and we were set up for desert weather, not yeah. Ice. Right. I'm gonna do a Star Wars. <laughs> You're gonna just kill your camel straight out. I mean, the, the the poor thing's probably going to die anyway. It's definitely gonna die now. <laughs> well, yes, that's the point. So yes, um, you you, you start ca- um carving up your camel and building an igloo around its like rapidly freezing corpse. Yep, and then I'm going to hide inside the uh, camel's body because. That that's totally how that works. Okay. <laughs> Don't ask Moly. me. I watched a revenant yesterday. Yeah, I got eaten by a frost worm. You're I know, right? Alive, but they're most they're like ninety percent air. Oh, okay. Uh, frost worm, zeppelin, totally the same. So well, yeah, um... wait. I oh, know. Wait. No. No. If they're like zeppelins, ha <laughs> ha. Right. I've got one chance to do this. In my left hand, I'm going to take hold of my knife. Yeah. And in my right hand, I'm going to take hold of of a lighter. And I'm going to cut a hole in the belly of the frost worm. Okay. Okay. And then as I jump out, aiming for the trees, I'm going to light the gas that comes out. 
no. So you're going to get your flint and you're just going to crack yeah, like... it on the way out. <laughs> yeah. Oh, an explosion. That that actually sounds really cool. So, so yeah, um, you jettison out of the side of the frost worm. It's the gas inside is bitterly, bitterly cold. Yep, I'm gonna make my roll. Please yeah, one. Oh, for... what? Oh my god! <laughs> what a one. I should get you to play Dark Heresy sometime. You'd be really good at it. I would be. I would be. <laughs> So yeah, um, <sighs> the frostworm explodes and it hurls you like sideways. You arc through the air, um, through this frigid air into like the swirls uh, into the more of a second frostworm. <laughs> <No>. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah. No. Um, so close. Don't worry, you're not going to be inside it for long because this frostworm is moving to attack the rogue elemental. Oh, now there's a rogue elemental. Yeah. Okay. Why Chris, not? what are you doing? There's a rogue elemental ripping apart the landscape and throwing it at things. <laughs> is it throwing it at anything I particularly care about? Um. Other, other thing, other like mo- moving things that the conclave have set in motion. And um, when it realizes that you're still there, probably you. It may try stand on you. It's huge. It's this... it's a good hundred meters tall. <laughs> While well, it's at least vaguely distracted, this seems like it might be a convenient time to try, head for my own escape camel and try and get away. Okay. So, what is your escape plan? So basically, move away from where all of the ice worm versus mover elemental decanery is about to go down. Okay. Um, so it's leg it, basically. <laughs> it's not particularly advanced. Yeah, you're legging it through the snow, slogging away. Um, so the frost worm is going to. Uh, the frost worm uh, sucks in all the loads of air from around it um, and launches out of its body. Freezing it solid, um, and uh, like as it does, Moly, you are ejected from the frost worm like an icy bullet. Oh no! Right? Ooh, please don't tell me he rockets into my igloo. No, I, I you, you are frozen. You are, you are like almost completely encased in ice, oh, as you are hurtled into the semi-ephemeral form of the mover elemental. Oh. Hey. You're base. You're, you're embedded in it like a shotgun pellet. Wonderful. At least it's warmer in here. Well, true. It's like a Barbie fourteen degrees, like Shh. it would be underground. Oh my god. Oh. You're okay. still mostly frozen. Though. Yeah. Um. I'm not sure what to do. Chris. Yes. You can smell blood. Mine or someone else's. I'm pretty sure it's camel blood. Oh god, what's happening to my camel? Your camel's fine. Oh, you can smell mine. What are you up to? So, you can smell the blood of my camel. How far away are the others? You have no idea where they are. You can just smell camel blood nearby. And there's probably some like, red leaking out of like one of the snow drifts. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to keep on riding. <laughs> Meanwhile, my couch mm-hmm. is just inside being like, this is the dumbest fucking plan I've ever had. Uh, this must okay. be a safe place to stop. I think so, because uh, I, I, we could have done something about you guys travelling across the desert. I mean, I'm not sure how we could have done that when we just had no idea what the fuck was going on. Oh, well. It's... Anyway. Anyway. It's it's a potential. That's the thing. It's not yeah. supposed to be yeah. straight off. I do oh, like the idea know. of like you could just you, if you don't if you don't think you can do something, you can just invoke chaos. Mm. I do I do it's like that idea actually. Kind of a nice idea. And I did like the whole oh this is gonna like, directly opposing trying to stop the council doing what they want puts the danger in play. Mm. Yeah, I think this is one of those ones where you we'd have to sit down and kind of. Formulate, if that makes any sense. Hey, yeah. what's this show about? 
<laughs> but I mean, I, I mean a bit more than because, as we've said before, like the d planning on the podcast and planning in real life are two different things. This is true. Yeah. Yeah. True. So, well, what do we want to do now? Um, I think what we should do is we should read out the next one and then go, um, you know, decide what we're going to do and then go on a break. Okay. Sounds pretty good. That sounds pretty good. Uh, Chris, do you have any dice? Uh, I've got a dice roller. Seems Roll for it. Close enough. So I get. So the first one is a five, which is okay. group and noun. Oh, All no. right. Followed. Group followed and by noun. Three and three, which uh, is flock. Flock and. Okay, re roll the second one. Yeah. What's the second? Oh, yeah, plotting. Plotting again. So for the second re roll, I get another five. So flock, and flock. <laughs> flock and toaster. Flock and toaster. What the fuck is this five. one? What? Well, well, so, no. <laughs> right. You okay. just told me to put nouns in, okay? <laughs> to be fair, when I think my first thing is like, it's like someone saying flock and toast her. So I'm thinking witches, like Wiccan. I was thinking enchanted bread people, but that was oh just me. <laughs> okay, see, I, I went like almost <gasps> kind of the board game route of you're a bunch of sheep that own a, um, that own a like, sandwich shop. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't we go for an intermediary and um, it's it's bread oh. witches. Uh, so maybe you said when... bread witches. Bread witches. <laughs> is that a thing? I don't think no. that's a thing. Is that just a sandwich? Really? It's literally a. It's literally a piece of bread, like a living piece of bread that is also a witch and has magical powers. Oh, so we're baked witches. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Four twenty. <laughs> you need to lay off Please either the it. drugs or the children's TV programs. I'm not sure where. Uh, well, I mean, my other my this? other one would be your sentient birds in a baking contest. Uh, How would okay? <laughs> yeah, but it's like you've got to win the Great British Bake Off by no one well, while not letting the judges know that you're actually like three parrots in a trench coat. <laughs> to be fair, three parrots in a trench coat would be less annoying than some Bake Off contestants. Oh, fair enough. Shots fired. They probably wouldn't have the manual dexterity. <laughs> I mean, this is the silliest title, so I have no idea how we're going to do this one. I mean, I you could do it like um, you could go with the um, whole children's TV program thing and have it that be like that your farm animals that um, like you think like the Iron Giant. Yeah. So you've got a giant robot that you can control that you've called Toaster. Well, not that you can control, that is your buddy yeah, and it's that you've called Toaster. toaster. <laughs> and then and uh, you are, you know, you've like the game is trying to persuade the giant robot to do what you want it to do. So it's basically Pokemon with a giant <gasps> robot. And well, I was thinking monsters. more the Iron Giant with anth anthropomorphic farm animals. <laughs> okay, hear me out here. So we're, we're, we're tiny witches made in an enchanted toaster, right? Okay. And we've got to get the and we've got to convince the child that made us to do stuff. Okay. I swear to God, this if this is your fetish, I'm going to murder you. <laughs> Welcome to my magical realm. Why I'll be behind you, Chris. Um, I th I think I I actually think we may have, and I can't believe I'm about to say this. We may have just hit too weird for role on the adventure. I think we have, honestly. What weirder than like murder hobo jazz vampire? <laughs> yeah, but that was a live show. My name's Martin. <laughs> That's an entirely valid game style for Vampire the Masquerade. Yeah. Um. So yeah. Uh, I will say uh, think... I'll see you in the next part for Flock and Toaster. I'll see you in hell. We'll Flock see and you Toaster. Then. Okay. Bye. Bye. Bye.